Alright, so hey guys, welcome to the Warframe video, and today I'm going to show you a very fast way of farming the three different types of systems from the Profit Taker bounties. Now, this is nothing new, I've been doing it, and many other people have been doing it for a while now, and I honestly thought it was common knowledge, but this just shows you that just because you think something is common knowledge doesn't mean that it actually is. Now, since the entire process takes a little bit over three minutes, I'm actually going to walk you through everything in real time. So what you do is you go to Fortuna, you go to the back room, you talk to Yuriko, select the Profit Taker, and pick the second bounty. Don't do the first, third or even the fourth one. The second one is the best. Skip through the dialogue because you've probably seen it a bazillion times and head straight out to Orb Vallis. Also, my apologies for any drop in frame rate in this particular section because for whatever reason, the exit to Orb Vallis and the elevator to Orb Vallis are incredibly laggy. Alright, so when you finally load into Orb Vallis, you want to run out of the elevator and immediately jump onto your arc wing. I generally do it with a K drive and I pick up a couple of points here and there, but just for the sake of demonstration and to show you how fast this can actually be done, I'm gonna use the arc wing because it is faster than the K drive. Now, you want to fly pretty much dead ahead until you see the marker for the enrichment labs. And you kind of want to fly inwards and if you time it right you can actually make it through the door just like this. Once you're inside the enrichment labs you want to make it all the way to the back so we jump over Nefanyo's shoulders so we're gonna make it through the door down the stairs and then we're just gonna keep heading back as far as we can. Now it's actually not necessary to run this fast through this particular section because we're actually moving faster than the NPCs can exhaust their dialogue so once we make it to the end room and we jump down right here we will actually have to wait for the NPCs to exhaust their dialogue so that the bounty can progress. And this is kind of like the perfect time to finally load up on your buffs and pick up any resources that you see scattered around. Now, the next section of the bounty requires you to kill three marked targets. The first one of which is going to spawn right here. So let's give him a love tap. Let's give him another one for good measure. Then we're going to turn around. We're going to jump out of the pit. We're going to go through the door, through the hallway, through another door, through the grate, down the hall, turn around, through the grate, turn the left, through the door. And here is the second one. And there we go, good night, good sir. Then we're gonna turn around, jump on this bridge, turn left, go through the door, turn right, up the stairs, through the door, and here is the third one. Once you kill the third marked target, we need to make our way out of the enrichment lab, so simply go up the stairs, through the door, over Nefanyo's shoulder, and through the two main doors to the valleys. And all that's left to do now is to kill two ambulance targets, which are very annoying, and they have a lot of crowd control, basically, you know, just standard corpus nowadays. And what you want to do is kind of in between the pink plates, because that's the only place where the ambulance units will take full damage. You can shoot them in the plates and they will eventually fall off and they will start taking full damage as well, but it's better if you just shoot in between them. And all that's left to do once the two ambulance units are dead is to pick up the data mass at the back of the room, go outside, hop onto your arc wing and fly back to Fortuna. And that's it, this is what you will repeat over and over and over again until you get all the systems you need. Which, depending on the type of systems you're farming, might take you a while because they all have different rarities. So if I pull up the drop table for the Profit Taker Phase 2 bounty, you can see that Gyromax systems are a common drop and you will get 5 of them. The Atomo systems are an uncommon drop and you will only get 4 of them. And finally, the Repeller systems are a rare drop and you will only get three of them. And there we go, we have finished the bounty with a mission time of 2 minutes and 29 seconds. And that's a pretty average time, it usually takes me somewhere between 2.5 to 3 minutes. And let us not forget that this bounty will also award you with 1000 standing for the Solaris United, which is very nice. And that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful. I wish you good luck when farming the different systems and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Sure.